Hey guys, what's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Selenio and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about your shot routine. What is so important about having a shot routine? And of course, what is a shot routine? Now for me, having watching pool, having been watching pool for the past 10 years on YouTube and other websites, I recognize that the professional players have a level of consistency beyond my comprehension. And as to how they maintain this consistency, even at that intense level, for example, in the Moscone Cup or the World Nine Ball Championship or the World Eight Ball Championship has eluded me for many, many years until when I came up to a professional player that told me that the shot routine is what they're using to maintain this high level of consistency. And some players that you can look out for that has a consistent shot routine is of course my favorite player, Shane Van Boning. Of course, the player who I emulate for his discipline and for his work ethic, Niels Fien. And of course, the most humble player who I believe is in the pool world, uh, that is Ralph Suke. So those three players are three players that you can definitely observe when you're watching your pool matches. But for the most part, I'm just gonna be taking you through Apex LNU's six step process of his shot routine. But before I get a chance to share those secrets with you, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. The red button is just right below you there. Like the video if this content is of any use to you. And of course, please share it out to your pool communities, friends and family. And let's all become consistent at this lovely game here of pool. All right, so let me take you through these six steps right now. All right, guys, so here are the six step process of my shot routine. Number one, I talk about a lot when it comes to finding your balance point, all right? So what is your balance point? Your balance point is the point or the line, if you wanna call it the balance line also, is the line through which you have already determined where you're going to be building your stance around, all right? You're gonna be setting up your body, right, for a stable, for stability, right so how do i determine what this line is i pretty much draw a imaginary line from the cue ball through to the object ball and extend it to the rail to which i am looking at all right and that imaginary line here just kind of tells me that that is where i'm going to be building my stance around so i know that i'm going to be placing my feet at 45 degrees on that line here or i'm going to be placing my body directly on that line here to execute the shot all right so very simple find your balance point by drawing a line from the cue ball to your object ball and extend it to the rail that is what i call my balance point now let's talk about step two now which is finding the shooting line of the shot and so the shooting line now is the line that goes from the object ball straight into the target pocket, the pocket to which you're going to be putting the object ball in, all right? So that is step two here. I imagine that line here that is going through here. And now once I can see that line now, those two steps now combined together will help me to apply step three. So what is step three? Step three now is where I kind of determine the angle of the cut shot all right and for me i use dr dave's fractional ball aiming system in order to execute most of my shots i do use a variety of other systems based on the difficulty of the shot but most of my pool shots i use dr dave's fractional ball aiming system a link will be provided in the description box below for you to see how it is that you go about learning fractional ball aiming all right but the video is not per se about how i aim it's about my shot routine so that is step three determining the angle of the cut now once i've determined the angle of the cut this is very important pool knowledge for you to know guys that there are a, there's a there's a range to which most pool shots are played and most pool shots are played again you can learn this information from dr dave billiards on his youtube channel you can learn that there is a 30 degree 45 degree and a 60 degree cut shot 
um, range to which you make most of your pull shots. Yes, there are, there are degrees of cut shots that go beyond 60 and there's the degree of cut shots that are below 30 degrees. But for the most part, the most popular and the most known shots are within the ranges of 30 to 60 degrees. Now for me, a 30 degree cut shot is where I aim my cue ball to the inside edge of the circumference of the object ball. A 45 degree cut is where I aim the cue ball, the center of the cue ball, to the very edge of the object ball. And for me, a 60 degree cut is where I aim the center of the cue ball just on the outside edge of the object ball. So after applying step one and step two, all right, so here is step two. I just kind of pivot round back to step one. And for me, this feels like a 30 degree cut shot for this particular shot uh, that we're referring to, all right? So that kind of gives me the information here based on my aiming system that I'm gonna have to aim the center of the cue ball to the inside edge of this object ball here, all right? So once I've gone through those three steps, I now transition into step four. Step four now is where it's a visualization process, all right? You kind of visualize where, what cue ball is going to take to get onto your next object ball. It could be the money ball or it could just be a regular shot. Maybe you want to play two, three rails back to the two or maybe two, three rails back to the eight or the nine or whatever the ball it is that you're going for next. You have to be able to visualize this cue ball's part. And once you visualize the cue ball part, step four also includes determining what part or what part of the cue ball you're going to be aiming in order to get the cue ball to take that natural route all right so you have different segments on the cue ball top right top left center right center left low right low left stun center ball stun follow and all these other parts of the cue ball all right so here i have three shots set up on the table here i'm just going to be placing my nine in direct line with the one all right and so here's a very common shot in pool where you're gonna we are on the wrong side of the object ball and so you need to travel the cue ball a couple of rails to come around back for in this case the money ball which is the nine ball all right so let's go through the process this is step four i know my path that i'm going to be taking okay and then step five now is all about going down okay it's going down checking to see if you're aiming if you're hitting the cue ball where you're aiming make the necessary adjustments all right apply the spin where necessary and then step six is all about executing and maintaining control of the cue ball so here we go all right chalk my stick up that's a part of also a part of my shot routine find my balance point go around kind of look at the one ball here in this example Okay, I know it's a 30 degree cut shot. I come around here, all right, I visualize my part, one, two, three. I know that I'm gonna have to use maybe a hair of left spin in this case. All right, so I already got those information here, chalk up. I build my stance around here, and I get down. I check to make sure that everything is on point, adjust where necessary, okay? And I know that inside edge of the object ball, a hair of left spin here, and it's all about just double checking everything here and of course just executing going around nicely coming around for a shot on the nine all right i would have liked to be more straight but of course speed control is something that we're gonna have to be working on all right so that is just pretty much an example of how i go through my entire shot routine let's look at example number two all right guys so in example number two now is where i'm actually just imagining that i'm playing a game of eight ball please just ignore this three ball here i have a shot maybe the cue ball is maybe in the center of the table here all right okay maybe it's about here and the two ball is a little bit off the rail and i need to play this two ball here and go one rails two rails position on the eight so let's go through the whole entire process that we just discussed all right so i find my balance point here a line from the cue ball to the object ball to the rail. I found that line. I go around here and I kind of look at the angle of the cut. So this to me, okay, I just kind of put my cue stick here, aim here, and I pretty much just go around and kind of feel the angle. Now this angle for me feels like about 45 degrees. So I know right away that I'm going to be aiming at the very edge 
of the object ball based on the knowledge that I have. All right. So I've already gone through three of the processes already. Step four is visualizing. I know that I'm going to go one rail, two rail to come into this zone here. And so I'm going to get down here and make sure that I chop my stick or chop my cue, pardon me. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to build my stance around here. It's a little awkward because I'm leaning, but you still have to try to maintain as much stability as possible. All right. So I'm going to get down here. Stay steady. Do not shoot in a rush. Okay guys, make sure that you have the aiming point set up. You know where you're aiming on the cue ball. Take a couple long strokes. And a nice delivery there. I didn't get as much angle on the shot that I would like to make the eight, but let's try that one more time. Okay, we can use the three ball here. Okay, that was a little steep, so let's try a more shallow angle. All right. I'm using draw here. Nice delivery of the cue and come into the zone for the eight ball. All right. And that is pretty much how you have to go through that entire process for every single shot in an eight ball rack or a nine ball rack. That is how the pros are maintaining consistency. Let's look at our final example. All right, guys, so in this example here, I am on the three, all right? And I know that after pocketing the three, I just need to come maybe one reel, two reel, and come into the line of the nine ball here, all right? And so this is something that you have to do, especially when the pressure is high, all right, guys? So we're not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna get right into executing the shot routine here. All right, so right here, I have formed my balance point. Cue ball, object ball, extend this line here. I'm gonna go around here, draw my shooting line from the tree to the pocket. I know it kind of determine the angle of the cut. I know that this feels less than 30 degrees. All right, so I know that I'm definitely aiming just off center, just off center, maybe like a here, all right? I know I need to take a two rail path to get onto the nine. So right now I can determine the tangent line from the three. I know that the tangent line is going to bring me here, here, and back out here. So I think I'm going to just settle with that. So I'm just going to be playing center ball. Already that is step four, center ball. And here we go. Everything is completed. So it's all about chalking up, executing here, finding the aiming point just off center a little bit, center ball. Stay steady, read. And nice shot here. I would have definitely liked to be a little bit more nicer on this nine ball here, maybe just coming into this line here. So maybe center ball was not the exact part to aim on the cue ball, but the point is that you went through your shot routine, all right? And this takes a lot and a lot of practice, guys, is not just getting up and saying, oh, 